cricket. It's an odd game. So what are the odds of this happening? Out. Lily is gone. Caught. Well, we've had it. Lily caught Willie bowled Dilly for the first time of the season. Lily caught Willie bowled Dilly. That's silly. And there's a scoreline which we had all hoped for this season, but uh, I wouldn't know if Dennis Lilly would hope for it. <laughs> Lilly facing Dilly and staring the catch to Willie. It's the type of sentence to make every school kid on earth secretly laugh into their lunchbox. First bowl today for Gian Mubrak. No easy task either. Dickin, Dickin. Yeah, oh, that? Oh, oh, is that a freak? It, it is a freak. It's a freak end for Andrew Simons. You just got to have a giggle. Watch Andrew Simons tell Michael Andrew Clark Simons, it's his shout. Uh, clipped it pretty firmly in the air. Hang on. If the ball came off both bats before being caught, then why aren't the two of them out? And, uh, there's the nod from the umpire that I'm sorry, mate, you're on your way. Here's Mark Taylor in the slips doing the hokey pokey. Yeah! It's out, I think. Up and down she went. That's the end of Carl Hooper. Beautiful delivery from Bevan. Plenty you put your right hand in, you stick your left leg right out, catch. you catch a third attempt, then the batsman's given out. Can you believe that? That is brilliant. He didn't panic in the slightest, but just flicked it back with his toe. Well, that's pretty well done. Wait a minute. Is this cricket or kick it? Well, who messed that up? I reckon that was Mark Wall. What a great take by Akia Money. How much does that grandstand love a handstand? The old cartwheel. Never look at this. I like it. Use <laughs> bowls now to Amanath. Uh, that must have been very close to Stumps. He's knocked the bales off. Or has he used his hands? There seems to me the bales are still on there. It may be that he's out handling. You know, the, the same ball. plan by Maradona won Argentina a FIFA World Cup. But India's Amanath loses his wicket. Didn't wait for a decision. We'll watch that again. It's pushed down. It's going back towards the Stumps. And yes, he handles the ball. Jimmy Amanath out handling the ball. And he gives himself out. Years of experience, off he walks, a very disappointed man, but a very sporting one. So this session is a vital one for the Australians as Phil Simmons has dropped one down on his stumps. Very close to rolling back onto the stumps. He was waving his foot around, trying to fend it off. It doesn't look like what well, we can see here if it did actually make contact. Oh, it just run down the length of the stumps and failed to remove the bales. Well, you can't be any luckier than that. That is the first foot fault I've seen outside of a tennis court. Luckily, he got away with it. So Phil Simmons, as we'll see here from Stump Vision, a very lucky man not to get the back heeler onto the stumps as well. In the air, short of quarter. Watch here as we see the curator decide on the umpire's behalf that it's time to stop play. The curator, in fact, is running on the ground. He's um, coming out before the umpires. I haven't seen this before. The actual curator is leading the groundsman on. Well, he must think it's go. I've never seen that in all the years I've been playing cricket where the curators come out and saying to the umpires, if we don't get them down now, we won't get them down. The umpires are looking at each other. Uh, well, that's a first. Well, it's turned black now and the storm has hit the gather. People going everywhere. The curator, he was right on the ball. He's got the covers down. He's trying very hard to get them down. It's pelting down here at the gather. It's I should point. add that no cricketers were and harmed in the filming of this footage. Hey, and down he goes. But there was a groundsman who's never been seen again. Umpire Prue has called for a suspension in play. A sensible decision by the. Don't uh, be fooled. Australia is a great destination for sun seekers. And you can bet that the ground staff want to get off there as quick as they can because of you. Perhaps even a round of golf. <laughs> Dean Jones should be bringing out the three wood, Australian not three helmets. Players sending out some helmets for the ground staff. <laughs> Dean Jones just doing his job as a 12th man. Giving the boys some protection out there. On this day in Brisbane, Mother Nature provided the drinks break. 
It was fierce stuff, I can tell you. The storm that swept through Brisbane, concentrating itself on Wool and Gabba and on the cricket ground. Water, anyone? Uh, lightning was arcing in the stands here. It was uh, quite sensational, but uh, not very pleasant. And the rain, it just threw it down. You've heard of the Indian Ocean? Well, that's the Australian one. However, when the weather is good, it's always a great idea to hang out the washing. Well, I think with all, obviously with the Victor Trumpet stand, it would have been expensive to build that. Obviously ran out of money right at the end. Now this is odd. Here, oh dear, that looks painful. Is it a chisel or a burger ring? It doesn't matter, but it's uh, having a problem. Uh, I think it's stuck. Lucky it's got a hole in it. Wouldn't be able to breathe. How many times has your mother told you, don't chew with your mouth open? Well, that's over the top there. There's a man down there. This won't be dropped. David Hooks is underneath it. He's out. Both of them out. Caught by David Hooks. Down on the deep extra cover boundary. Both of them trying to repeat the shot played by Randall. Now, I'm not saying England's Ian Botham or Eddie Hemmings were getting a bit porky. Because, well, somebody else beat me to it. <laughs> well... <laughs> There he is. He's got the Australian flag on. This all-rounder had roast beef, and this spin bowler had none, and this little piggy... Oh. He's been put to sleep by the policeman. <laughs> i tell you what, he doesn't really want to know. <laughs> Looks a bit nervous too, the policeman down there. <laughs> Trying to get a few people well, off the ground who've too. gathered around to... To watch this. <laughs> it's like the lay we have an invader on the field. Geez, I've heard of a tail ender, it's a, it's but this is ridiculous. Uh, there's been plenty happening. It is marvellous what you can do with computers and the electronics these days. And you don't see too many suicide rats around. Cricket has had its fair share of lighter moments, but here is a heavy one. Australian fast bowler Merv Hughes. Here, Merv shows us how to stay flexible, keep in shape, and court members of the opposite sex. Playing up to the crowd down there. We could all take a leaf out of Merv's book, and there'd still be plenty left to read.